El Capitan has been fully installed. Large portions of the system are operating exactly as intended. We're very close to completing the, the procurement. The combination of AI and traditional simulation techniques promises to greatly increase the amount of science we can achieve on any system, but particularly a system um, as significant as El Capitan. AI can uh, benefit our simulations at a variety of levels. It's already being used by many of our application teams to guide selection of parameters for the uh, simulations that they run. That's a very straightforward use of AI for uh, in simulation science. AI models enable our application scientists to explore the space being uh, modeled by their simulations more completely and as a result they can achieve higher confidence in the overall result. However, our application teams are already also working hard to incorporate it at a variety of levels, whether it's identifying uh, places at, at kind of the across a range of time steps where the, the simulation is not behaving as expected. El Capitan will primarily be used for its national security mission, for being able to assure that the nation's nuclear stockpile is safe and secure. But it will also be used for a variety of open science applications, uh, including things like inertial confinement fusion, as, as our scientists at NIF perform, uh, material modeling, ability to design significant new materials, the ability to do drug design, um, bioassurance, a wide range of applications. 